The Federal Reserve has dual goals that guide its monetary policy, stable prices and maximum employment. Let's take a look at these goals. Stable prices are important because when inflation is high, the economy suffers. Low and stable inflation has several benefits, including encouraging people to save more and businesses to invest more. Maximum employment is obvious. If there's high unemployment, it's not good for people or the economy. Congress has established some important goals for us for monetary policy. And in particular, the main goals we've been charged with is maximum employment and price stability. So we're trying to establish uh, conditions in credit markets that will foster uh, a strong economy, one that's able to provide jobs for people who um, are, looking, are looking for work, um, and stable prices that will aid people in their financial planning. And we um, adjust the level of short-term interest rates in response to our uh, e in response to economic developments and our forecast of where the economy is going um, to try to create financial conditions that are conducive to these goals. Even though it's part of the government, the Fed operates independently of Congress and the White House, so it can pursue its long-run goals while being insulated from short-run political pressures.